Uh, good afternoon, this is Ninian Wilson. I'm the Chief Procurement Officer of Vodafone. Are, you, are we going to see your dog or...? Yeah, we're going to see the dogs. Cool, cool, cool. So Ninian, you're the CEO of the Vodafone Procurement Company. What does procurement actually mean? Well, for us in procurement, uh, our job is to support the business in buying in goods and services that are either directly used by us to run Vodafone or are actually used by our customers to achieve their business uh, aims and benefits. Okay, in, in terms of uh, spend and geographic reach, what sort of numbers are we talking about? Yeah, well, if I take them in the opposite order, just to confuse you a little bit, we operate in 26 countries worldwide, so everywhere from New Zealand uh, right through to my home country of Scotland, obviously, and we spend uh, roughly 25 billion euros per annum, so just under 500 million a week. So Nini, in thinking about startups now, what do you think are some of the challenges they face when they try and interact with organisations such as Vodafone? Oh, I think that's a, it's a super question. In Vodafone, as I said, we've got 26 operating companies worldwide, 110,000 staff in our business. So if you're a startup, who do you go and see? Who do you actually pitch your product to? How do you communicate? How do you get into a large corporate? Uh, and I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges. And I, I, I genuinely believe the platform we've put in place with Tomorrow Street acts as that bridge. And when we link that bridge to the Arch Summit, then you get startups in with senior decision makers and senior decision makers in most enterprises are people who can make things happen. So I think that's the real benefit of Arch and also, as I've said, they're one of the biggest challenges for startup companies. So it's really about creating connections and, and synergies between uh, innovation and, and other organisations. Yeah, it's not just creating connections, but it's also just getting started and knowing who to go to. If You know, you could go into the Vodafone website and, and, and look to who you go to, but really actually knowing people and having that human connection, I, ju I think is important when you're in a small company and getting a, someone in a large corporate as your personal sponsor for your startup generally helps things be more successful than less successful. Uh, and why should startups be looking to work and engage with us? Well, I think first of all, when you look at Vodafone as a company, we have great strength in terms of our scale, our geographic reach. We have something like 529 million customers. So it's a, it's a great company to work with and for our customers. But also what's unique about Vodafone is that we've created a unique platform uh, with the Luxembourg government called Tomorrow Street. And that is our way of working with small companies in a very collaborative way to help them grow their business and hopefully also to do some uh, products and services that help our customers. Cool. And the Arch Summit 2018, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, first of all, I'm really looking forward to the whole initiative of the Arch Summit. I think the whole concept of bringing big companies and startups together is a great one. Uh, I am most looking forward to seeing what innovative startups will come, what great ideas they've got. Uh, and obviously this year as well, we have some prize money for the best startup. So uh, hopefully I'll get uh, an opportunity to input to that decision for the winner of the, I think we've got nearly a quarter of a million euros to give away. So I think it's super. Do you want to talk about cultural changes within? No, no, because no, we're just about to see the doggies. Okay. We're here, we're here. We've got to give the doggies their, their lunch. If we, the doggies don't get lunch, then they get unhappy. And when the doggies are unhappy, <laughs> then they're unhappy.